Hello folks, this is the second day of our stay here in lovely Paris. We're having breakfast here at a nice boulangerie near our hotel and on a street off Rue Claire, one of the most charming streets in Paris. It's a good thing we did not include breakfast in our hotel booking or else we wouldn't be able to experience having croissant and coffee on a popular street. Now we're here at the entrance to the courtyard leading to the Louvre, Paris's National Museum and Art Gallery, and is a must-see building complex here in Paris. A portion of it used to be a palace, and it has a collection of works from ancient times to the mid-19th century. The pyramid highlighting one of its entrances was designed by American architect I. M. Pei. It somehow reminds you to go to Egypt to see the original. Needless to say, most of the visitors flocking to this museum have their sights set on one piece of art, Leonardo da Vinci's Mona Lisa. Oddly enough, it's quite small compared to the wall dedicated to it. We stayed for about two hours in the Louvre. Now we're in the Le Marais area to visit another popular building. Now we see the building from a distance. It is the Centre Pompidou, a modern building that stands out from its neighboring structures. According to its website, it resembles a heart sustained by arteries of bright primary colors. 
Its architects, Renzo Piano and Richard Rogers, designed it as a living being. Symbolically, it is located in one of the city's oldest districts and the beating heart of Paris since medieval times, the Beaubourg Plateau. It has 10 levels dedicated to art exhibits, both permanent and temporary, screening rooms, theaters, conference rooms, a library, and a research center. The most interesting aspect of the building is the presence of bright colors in its architecture. The architects devised a color code that defines the use or function of each major component of the building. Blue stands for air flows or air conditioning, yellow for the electrical component, green for plumbing, and red for pedestrian flow in the form of escalators and lifts. One such escalator is called the caterpillar fronting the piazza. It is the primary artery of the center Pompidou and it serves all levels. We're back at our hotel resting and preparing for a dinner cruise along the Seine River. We're now walking along this street by the river to our starting point which is the Paris Yacht Marina. A day ago, we received a letter from the organizers saying that the venue of this dinner had to change because of rising water levels at the river due to heavy rains that happened weeks ago. Is this Philippe? Yeah, Philippe, this is Jesse Wallace. Uh, yeah. Well, listen, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm on one of those boats, right? Oh, wow. Notre Dame. Do you have to think that Notre Dame will be gone one day?
Dinner is done and now we're waiting for our Uber to arrive. Overall, having a dinner cruise is fine if you want to experience a romantic evening. If you want to have a meal while sightseeing on a boat, then a lunch cruise is more appropriate. Also, the price is half that of a dinner cruise. It's been a fun second day here in Paris and we still have one more day to savor this beautiful city. We still haven't gone to those popular spots yet so we're scheduled to see them tomorrow. Also, they want to go to their favorite store here and buy some stuff so we're going to do that too.